Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I'm just refueling the ship right now, because uh, we're going to do some building today. Uh, what I've done, and uh, I'm going to shut the engines off. Uh, thank you everybody for all the tips and suggestions you've been giving me on, on this uh, particular build. Uh, uh, this is a new building scene for me, so things are a little different. I have made a few changes to this. I've made some adjustments to the controls, and I have sort of figured out that wobble. Uh, it was suggested about using shared inertia, uh, was it, uh, give them just one of these, shared inertia tensor. Now I have tried a few different things, one of them has been using that shared inertia tent, shit, we'll just call it the tensor. I've tried using the tensor on everything and it basically resulted in when I was using that drill, that rotor right there for the drill pivot that the back one was moving at the same time too so it was almost like they were trying to counteract their rotation which is something that will come in handy for me uh, as far as everything else goes uh, you know the extensions were okay there was no wobble whatsoever no shake as you can see it's relatively stable right now but I haven't actually don't actually have it on the rotors it's only on the boom and I figured that these four here, I guess, stacked on top of each other, especially when it was extended, was creating that sway. As soon as I took that off, it seemed to seemed to have changed it quite a bit. Uh, I've also changed the control schemes, too. I have have set velocity on all the pistons and rotors and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see right here, velocity. And instead of using speed increase, decrease, I just basically toggle on and off and reverse makes it so much easier because then if it starts going the wrong way and you panic and if you hit the wrong button at least one of those buttons will either a stop it or get b get it going the opposite direction so it seems to be working pretty good as far as production goes this thing can do about 8,000 liters of hydrogen a second as you can see i've got about 30 percent of the tank it took me about 10 minutes to fill it up so it wasn't too bad uh, i have tried gyroscopes as well and gyroscopes basically stop it from moving i uh had gyroscopes basically on every one of those storage containers and I had issues where I couldn't actually move it. So then I tried putting one just on here and I could raise the boom but I couldn't lower it. As far as extension all that goes, it's not too bad. When it's fully extended it has a little bit of sway and I'll just fire it up here. Why not? Since I'm here, uh, the hot bars are sort of the same. Uh, it was also suge suggested too about uh, uh, using the drill as like a, a an equipable tool so you use the left and the right mouse button for it to work and it's a good idea especially if you want to try to avoid the stone but you can't actually move it while the drill is running you have to stop the drill and then you have to re-hot key it every time you want to use it so that's why I stopped it so basically it's the controls are just reverse up and down up and down and then the other one is to stop uh, same with the same with the rotation. I tried to get the, the movements. Oh, hang on. They're still locked. And I actually hotkeyed that. Yes, I did. Okay. And then number five just un unlocks all the rotors. So now I can get rotation. It's a little bouncy, and I think that's just the sway that's in there. There is definitely play in those rotors. I see that, so that's something I'll have to keep in mind. And then we switch over to the other, other hot bar and everything seems to be working okay uh, it's set speed so you can't inc increase the speed but it's not too bad uh, I have not had any fatalities or casualties or disasters or anything uh, the only thing I do have to keep an eye on is uh, uh, mainly that storage container at the end of that drill because it has taken damage but other than that it seems to be working okay I haven't had any issues with it let's bring this up a little bit uh, it's slow, but it, it goes. And we stop that there, and then we'll stop that one there. Go a little more, and presto change all. Uh, speed could be a little bit better, but uh, like I said, it produces it produces the hydrogen about as fast as you can get the ice out of the here. So that's that's not too bad. Uh, I am definitely going to be looking into scripting. It's just a matter of me getting back into C programming, which I've had experience. It's 
more or less a whole bunch of if else and then's commands you know just embedded stuff it just gets confusing anyways that is that uh the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go do some work over there i have an idea i want to do that uh it's sort of like an alternative green uh, like a green alternative to uranium we'll call it not that uranium's doing anything or uranium's worse but you know it's, a, it's an idea i have and as long as these things work the way i want them to then that's what we're going to do but we're going to go here this thing should be stocked up because I am also going to do something that has been suggested a couple of times, and I thought maybe we'll uh, we'll make it happen. So I'm gonna we're gonna head back over here. Oh, uh, one other thing I've done too is I've hacked at the settings file, and uh, as you can see, I have forty thousand liters of storage. I'm currently carrying nine hundred power cells on me. I didn't actually adjust the the, co the container sizes because that's. You know, I'm crazy not in stain, and realistically, if I wanted, I could change that to 400,000 liters, but I'm not going to do that. That's that's a little overkill. But we are going to take this with us. We're going to add a few more solar panels right now. I have 64 on here. Uh, I've been, I went and tapped into the mines, too. Got a bunch of stuff. Oh, let's not hit it. This thing doesn't break too well. Okay. Now, to put my park my storage chest somewhere, uh, I am going to be modifying this a little bit and adding more, but I'll be basically keeping the same sort of style. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to get sort of vertical with the thing. I'll go down a little bit, and there we go. I'm going to park it right on the batteries. This is close by. Uh, I'm not too worried about the space. I think I have enough inventory space to carry everything for the new solar panels. Okay, let's get out and let's see what I have on me. I have those. Those, yes, I gotta make. Add 10 more batteries at the top, so I'm gonna do that. I was actually wrong about that number, it was 23 batteries. So now I go ahead and I start putting these braces on. I'm actually coloring them in this time. Uh, I do have the inventory space to carry all those plates. I think I can carry over 10,000. So there's going to be one there, and there's going to be eight apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One there. And there's going to be one right at the top. And that's going to be on the other side. Uh, this is also going to be expanded three blocks on either side. This six. Sorry, it's going to be three panels wide on either side. I've got 16 either side off center so 32 and I need 38 so it's gonna be one two three four I'll let that one drop uh, I was putting a battery on there and I did that with the battery frame and dropped down and hit the blocks down below I went down there the very bottom block that was holding this thing up was at like two percent so uh, I think once I get this thing finished I'm gonna build a little, a little surrounding around it so it's one two three four five six so I'm going to build these out, fill them in, and then I'll bring you back for that. Okay, so there is the, the layout. So now, as you can see, I'm going to be extending this up to 9 high by 38 wide. And I want to get that in there before the sun goes down. Uh, so I have had to make a lot more plates just to get this done. But that's all I can carry. Let's get rid of the scrap. I don't need the displays or the motors yet. Or those or those and I just need those so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding more solar panels yes uh, more solar panels now I've done the calculations I'm gonna have 342 solar panels here uh, from what I've seen they seem to generate up to about 150 kilowatts uh, times 342 is 50 megawatts that is a lot of power um, I try to keep the pattern going too where I've got the uh, the red bars touching, so they sort of fill in with the block. Like so. No, not like that. Let's flip that one around again. Like like so. Let's fill it in so... You know? Oh, girders. That was the other thing I needed. Oh, it shows you what I know. So it wasn't the steel plates, it was the girders. Actually, it wasn't the computers. I can't remember. We'll find out. Let's see what I actually needed here. 
Oh, I didn't need the plates. I need them all. But anyway, it's like that. So I have the red touching. Uh, we'll call it the uh, the brains of the solar panel touching, and then that way the sort of works out. But I got a lot of work too. Thankfully, I have a huge inventory, so it'll be a lot easier. So let me get the, these placed, and I'll bring you back. And as the sun rises, I have finished. Christoph, this one's for you. You asked me to do a big BCP in solar panels. There we go. Uh, so now we have 384 solar panels. Uh, we're going to have to do something here pretty quick because I want to actually rotate this. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I already did that and I uh, had to start the recording again because I misspelled, mispronounced your name. I'm sorry. So we're going to go like that. We're going to go down here and I'm going to re anchor this because what I got to do is I got to split that grid. And the reason why I got to split that grid is I want to put a rotor in here. Okay, I'm going to drop to the ground. And I'm going to save, and also make, make sure I'm recording, and again, just in case. Alright, so uh, I don't really care where I'm going to put the rotor, I'm going to put it right in here. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to take this out, and I look up and I see it teetering over me. Okay, so now I do have a rotor set, we're going to get that there. So, uh, one of the things uh, I was mentioned too is that's just about to, uh, like delete being a certain direction, uh, home and page up and all that stuff being certain directions. I've noticed it's not it doesn't have to do with the way the block is. It has to do with the way you are facing. So if you have if you're let's say if I'm up here and I'm using let's say delete to rotate, if I go down here and that's probably gonna show me wrong here. But I noticed that with the solar panels, I was having issues where I was pushing delete again. And there you go. So it's kind of maybe world grid, like uh, grid coordinate setup. I have no idea. But anyway, so let's go ahead and finish this up. And of course, I need large steel tubes and some motors. So we'll fly up here quickly. Oh, oh, that was close. Uh, I was coming back from the, the base over there to pick up more plates to fill these up. And... I flew into this thing a little too hard. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. uh, do I have even not large tubes on here? No, I don't. I gotta run back. Okay, I picked up some motors while I was there, and before I do this, I think it would be a smart idea to take my ship off of this thing. Just in case. Oh, let's hop back in. Turn the engines back on. Let's reset my view so I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, it's gonna change when I undock, anyways. Okay, let's get off. Uh, well, let's get off the solar panel, that is. <laughs> Don't be thinking dirty. It's supposed to be my job. So now I'm just going to land this down back on the ground here, out of the way. Uh, one less grid, the better. Not that I've had any issues yet, but the longer it takes for one to happen, the worse it's going to be. And knowing me, knowing me, I'd be able to crash my game and the entire Steam community at the same time. Okay, so now we go back down here. We'll fill that in, we'll fill that in. So now I gotta dig another hole. That's not how I crouch. That's opposite crouch. That's anti crouch. Uh, that's not a block. That's not a block either. That's a block. How come? Why do you not want to place? Why do you not want to place? Huh? I think I need to dig down a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. Do I need to use an advanced rotor? Possibly. Because I didn't have any troubles building the other thing there. So let's find out. Okay, now we go back to we go back here because uh, that one wasn't actually one of the selectable ones, like with the the mouse wheel. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we'll do that. So now I should be able to place a block on here. How come? Watch, I'll be able to place a conveyor junction, right? 
I'm sure I will. Since I find it. Why? Is it because of this? Where is that terminal? Oh, there's no terminal on here. <sighs> hmm. Interesting. Right. Okay, that is... I try something here. Okay, and that did did work. Converting it to a station did definitely work. But now I'm wondering about the top section. So I'm gonna go back to a block because I have a feeling the block might be stronger or at least cheaper anyways in case of failure. Cheaper the better. Okay, yeah, give me the big block back, thank you. Yeah, it is actually anchored in the ground. Good. So I'm gonna have to definitely place a bit of a bigger structure on that, or around it at least. Just in case. So now I go up to here and get the info on this. So I'm assuming I have to do this because I originally built it in the ground. But this is where experimentation comes in. It's already grounded if I convert to a ship and let it go, what's going to happen? No, well, one way to find out. Save trial and re trial and error. Okay, it's been saved. Let's try it the first first way. Let's take it apart and then convert it. Okay, we're not dead yet. Oh, I gotta go all the way up there to get to the terminal. Well, technically I don't. I could, there is actually a little terminal. Let's use that just for the sake of it. So I can stay out of harm's way in case this thing goes flying. Now, where is it? It's going to be in here somewhere. This little HAL 9000 pad. Okay. Go ahead and fill that in. I have to put it on this side because this is the side the, the motor's on because it's how it gets placed. All right. So, we go to the advanced rotor. I should turn it off for now. Now, the velocity, I figure, since about 30. 30 minute day cycle, it needs to be about 0.3 RPM or 0 0.03 RPM. And I've learned you can actually use the arrow keys to adjust this, and that's about as good as I'm going to get. Alright, so where is the sun? Way over there. That kind of sucks. But I guess we'll just have to turn it on and find out what happens. Is it even moving? Let's find out. Hmm. Probably not. It's a lot of weight. Oh. Let's not go that high. Let's leave it here. So I'm going to give it a minute and I'll, we'll see what happens. Alright, well, let's try this. I've tried couple of different ways and I think maybe the merge block might help. Now it's not grabbing yet. I don't know if it's supposed to grab automatically. Uh, I have saved so this could be interesting or this could work. And it worked. <gasps> it's rotating. It's rotating. I even tried using gyros too. That didn't work out too well. So go here, we'll go to oh that's nice. I could there's a few things I could do with that that'd be quite interesting. Alright, so I do have the speed set up, so let's go on, turn on, see if it rotates. And it is. Nice. Merge block. Awesome block. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to reverse this. That's going to go the other way. It's 0.4. I'm hoping it's going to stay in time with the sun. I might have to come and stop it for a few minutes every once in a while, but... I'm going to sit here and wait for this the sun to come around, and we'll get it lined up. So I'm going to turn that off and I'll let it go. So I will be right back. Well, I'm still waiting for the sun to come up, so I figured we might as well get into the next part of this project. Well, actually what was really planned for today. 
Uh, as you know, I am trying to find alternatives to uranium. Uh, I have thought about it already. I'm going to take the... Probably in between episodes or something, I'm going to take the, the hydrofinery out there. and uh, I put ore detectors on the, the sides of either... On either side of it. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, the red parts there. And that, plus, with it being uh, not only a 150 meter range, I have a miner built right into it. So, if I'm out there, it's got more than enough fuel in it. I think it's... Geez, we got to be 15, 20 million liters in it right now. 30%, 30% of 15, or five, 50, five, 30 million. Yes, 15%, 30% of 30 million is 9 million liters. So that's more than a fuel. But anyways, enough rambling. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter what side we do it on. I guess we'll do it on this side since it's a little more flatter. So basically what I'm going to do is now that this is connected, the power that's generated up there will actually go up into here. And I can actually go and set this battery to recharge while I'm at it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, charge this. I checked the power on the rotor. The rotor itself uses 36 watts with the battery at 900 kilowatts hours. It was going to last like six years or something. I'm going to let that charge. Uh, it's fine because we've got a huge surplus up there. So what I want to do is I want to get just a couple of, something real simple, just a couple of uh, connector ports. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making rechargeable battery packs. And these battery packs will be able to be disconnected, and hopefully things are going to work out right with the, the hot key and configure the, the grouping and whatnot. Let's get this evenly spaced. Uh, because, that way, so when I go and build a really big ship up there that needs a lot of power for a jump drive, and from what I've seen with a jump drive, it's more or less one full battery gets you one jump. So if I take make take a 24 pack of batteries up there, I should be able to get 24 jumps out of it. In theory, anyways, I know about the recharge times and all that stuff. It was something like uh, the fa it, as fast as it can generate power is oh, just under five minutes. So you jump, you got five minutes for it to charge up again, but if you have 24 batteries, at least you don't have, don't have to worry about uranium. But anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we'll go another seven on this side. One. I was thinking about building a special ship for it, but I think we can get away with using that thing. It seems to work pretty good, and we're, we're on the moon, so we got low gravity. Oh, oh that's that marker there. I'm going to leave that there in case I get lost, because you never know with me. Okay, so now we put a couple connectors on here. And uh, yes, I have made a lot of power cells. I think I still have more of the base. I was actually making more when we came over here to get more work done. That's a merge block. We don't need that. All right, we'll get off of that. And just for the sake of it, I am also going to make sure I fill in all these blocks. Just to make sure in case something does drop and hit that we don't have any problems. In fact, I might even surround the base of that. As long as I don't fly into it, I should be okay. If anything does happen, I know who to blame myself, because, hey, I'm the only one here. Alright, I need two small steel tubes for those, so we'll do that. And I'll get this done. And, yeah, well, let me get this done, I'll bring it back. Okay, just like that. And the sun's coming up, so we're going to have to start this thing up pretty quick here. So now, now for the, the battery packs. The battery packs are going to be pretty basic things. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use blocks to as the jack actually yeah I guess it doesn't matter because it could be a station or a ship as long as I can pick it up and move it that's all it's gonna matter all right so let's go ahead and place uh, one two three four five I was trying to figure out the the layout because I want to do 24 I want to make sure I keep it and actually I was gonna do 27 that's what I was gonna do I'm sorry I forgot what I was doing here all right, now I'll go back to the batteries. One, two, three, and then another three. Of course, we gotta fill these in. Actually, it's the next layer. I have to make sure to fill in. And I'm probably gonna need a lot of power cells. Yes, but you get the idea. It's gonna be a three by three by three air section of batteries. Okay, I'm just waiting for more power cells to print up. Uh, I got this one about halfway done, but it's actually time to turn this on. Uh, what I do need to do is, one, something I always got to keep in mind is, since I've increased my inventory, uh, my personal weight has increased significantly. 
So I just got to make sure that I give myself some time to slow down. So we turn that to auto. We'll turn this on. Make sure it's rotating the right way. It is. So now, if I'm at a 30 minute cycle and I have it set about a, a 0 0.03 RPM, it should work to one rotation every half an hour. In theory. So we'll let that go. I might have to do some adjustments because I probably got my numbers wrong. But let me get these batteries finished up and I will bring you back when this is done. Okay, I'm just coming back with the last power cells I need for this one battery back pack here. Uh, so far, the solar panel seems to be tracking the sun pretty good. I'm not generating too much right now, about 100 kilowatts, but still, 100 kilowatts times 342, more than enough. So now, we go ahead and fill in these last three batteries, and hopefully I have enough. I do. So now, I was thinking about how I was going to do this. Ideally, dropping it should be okay. Ideally, though, I should try to pick it up with that. And then hover up. I don't know, it sounds like a save and try moment. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's going to hurt. Not gonna be good. That would seem to be okay. Looks like it took a little bit of damage. Nope, we're good. So now, two questions. A, is this gonna pick it up? And B, is this gonna work the way I planned? Uh, because I am dealing with, gonna be dealing with multiples of these. Uh, am I going to be able to control two different battery packs? And by battery packs, I mean the, the port that's on the bottom. Because what I want to be able to do is I actually want to connect it to this hub. Or to the, the charging station. And be able to actually undock it from here. So we go and connect it. First, let's see if I can lift it up. I can just barely lift it up. Can't hover with it though. That's fine. We can always add more thrusters onto this thing if we need to. Uh, I got enough fuel to sit here for a moment. Bring up the terminal. Okay, so which connector is which? Well, I know how we can tell. Whichever one is currently locked. I have no idea which one that is. Hmm. Let's actually find out. Actually, we can do it this way. No, not that way go back in here and we'll turn that one off okay so that was uh, that was the right one okay actually what I should do there's a terminal on this thing is there not no there is but I can rename it here go to terminal the battery and I believe that was just plain old connector yes Okay, connector ship side. Let me go to here, connector battery side. Or, uh, let's change this actually. Battery plug. Or terminal, I could have put. Let's do terminal. We'll get rid of that uppercase A there, it's uh, not dyslexic, or whatever it is. Okay, so that is that. So we go back over to connector ship side, turn that back on, so we can reconnect to it, like so. Now, uh, I'll bring up my hotbar menu here. We find which connector is it battery terminal okay we will switch the lock on that get out of here and now let's see if we can actually lift this thing over there yeah because I don't have enough upper thrust to maintain the weight so I'm wondering maybe I should move some thrusters onto the bottom here oh I think I know what's going on it doesn't want to 
doesn't want to recognize the extra weight. So this is going to be a tricky one to do. I think I might have to get a better vehicle for this. Oh, leave those dampeners on. Thank you. Yeah, because this one doesn't want to stay. I think I need better gyros, maybe. Oh, this is not good. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Yeah, I think I need a bigger ship. I think this is too much weight. Well, I know this is too much weight. Definitely. Uh-oh. Down she comes. And stay away from that solar panel. Uh, wrong button. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> it's just my ship. It's just the battery. As long as it doesn't hit this thing, it's fine. Okay, this definitely needs some rework. I mean, uh, bigger ship by the looks of it. This is a lot of weight. Let's actually see how much this is. Uh, 140 tons. That probably has something to do with it. Yes. Hmm. Could always cut the number of block batteries down. I know it's kind of a waste from the power cells, but hey, I can always recycle the scrap. So let me take these off and we'll put a connector on here and see what happens then. Thank God for elite tools, huh? Alright, and throw a connector back on the bottom. Just like so. Now hopefully. This little ship of mine, if I can get to the cockpit, not the, the container. Come on, get up. And get me back in the first person. Okay, let me adjust this camera angle. I guess it doesn't recognize it. I'm sure if I stuck a couple of gyroscopes on there, it might help. Possibly. Oh my god, my ship is just smoking. I gotta fix some damages here. Okay, so I've decided to build another ship over there. A uh, little red thing over there. Uh, but it needs fuel. So, this would be a perfect time to actually test this thing out. I'm just packing it up right now. I'm going to make sure I have it all lined up properly. That's the wrong button. At least, like I said, you can stop pretty quick. And that's the wrong button again okay that'll work and then we can lower this down like so Let's switch back over to here and continue that going down till it's in the cradle and then for safety's sake we go back here and we lock all the rotors okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we're gonna fly it over there and see if I can fill up that other thing. All right, so engines are eight. Let's like go with the parking brake. And now we just see if we can work our way back. Even with the rotors locked, it still moves. I know there's limitations to how much they could do. I'm sure if I adjust the braking force, it'll probably help quite a bit. Let's actually try that. Breaking torque. Let's bring that up to like 17. That's a, definitely a little bit better. But now I gotta bring this thing over here somewhere where A, I'm not gonna crush it, and B, so I can actually reach it. So now we can go down, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to actually reach this. Let's see how close we are. We're perfect. Let's actually get a little more level. Let's go a little more level. There we go. I'm going to shut those off. Now, up we go. So it's going to take me a minute to get over there. I'll bring you back when it's time to connect to it. Okay, this shouldn't take too long now that I actually know what I'm doing. So in theory, uh, keep in mind this is just all in theory. Is I don't actually know what I'm doing. It's going the wrong way. That's actually the wrong key, of course. Wrong button BC. Let's get the make that household name a thing. And a little bit more. 
Okay, that should be good. So now, uh, we go back to two, and now we gotta lower it down. That's the wrong way. And hopefully, no disaster. Okay, it's lining up. This is. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go back to two, oh, no, one, and ready to lock. Aha. So now I should be able to go through here. That's the hydrogen tank we want. We are going to stockpile. So now we are filling up this ship with my ship. Hooray, it's working. I just don't like the fact that the engines are actually running. Let's actually get out of here and let's go turn those things off. I know it doesn't use any power, but you never know. And yes, I am going to be turning those landing legs off. Oh, goody. So I got to group all these. So it kind of makes me wonder how many colors I can get in here with all the connected grids I'm going to end up having in some of, them, some of my builds down the road. And yes, they are going to get slightly more complicated than this. Uh, my mind has got to be in the right position to be doing stuff like this. Okay, then we'll save these as uh, battery delivery ship hydros. Okay, that way, so I know which ones are which. So those should be off. All of them? Yes, they are. Cool. This one's off too, so go back in here. Let's check the status of our uh, our tank. Our tank is filled. Okay, we turn stockpile off. We get out of here. Uh, we unlock that. And then we believe. Right, now let's uh, unlock it again. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's stop that. Let's uh, get back out of here. I'm going to reverse that because I knew I was going down to begin with. Come on. Oh. Wrong hotbar. There we go. Okay, let me put this away and I'll bring you back when it's time to see if we can lift that battery. Okay, I'm almost done. And the sun's coming up and it's been like, I think two or three day cycles since I've put the rotor up. So, let's actually see how well it's keeping track. All right, well, I'll turn that off and we'll go back to this bar here. Just lower this down a little bit, like so. And then we'll lock them for safety's sake. Make sure it's off, good. Let's get out of here. Let's hop into this little thing here. Like so. And again, third person. And of course, I gotta do why is there a welder on here I did not put a welder on here okay and oh we got one other thing we gotta do here we gotta go to all blocks and now I gotta figure out which connector is which again so let's zoom in and we'll turn I believe this should be the top one Yes, it is. Okay. So, turn that back on, and we'll do this to enter battery. Okay, and then we'll go in here, and we'll just, so I can actually lock and unlock that thing. All right. Now, it's time to go. Engine's on. That off, and this Thing should have a serious amount of power if I don't crash the thing. And by the looks of it, that solar panel is actually keeping track pretty good. Let's go turn around the back side, check it out. No, it's way off. This is the front side. Yeah, that's going to need some fine tuning. I know it's the back side because I can see the bees, bees on this side here. Yeah, so I guess maybe not half an hour? I don't know. I'll have to double check that. But even then, I'm at 
0.4 when it should be like 0.33. So it's hard to say. Maybe we can just ramp up the speed. Whoa, that's not what I want to do. Okay, and I'm not in range, of course. Okay, and we'll lock that. Okay, now ship side. So let's connect to three. I saw the shadow move and I thought it was going up. I'm sorry, I'm fumbling with controls here. So connect to three should be down at the bottom, I do believe. Uh, unlock. Well, we'll find out. And. Oh, yeah. Should be right. Oh. Right. Uh, sorry. Let me check this again. I gotta make sure I got the right thing uh, unlocked. No, 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 no. Connector 3. I wanna. Switch lock. There we go. That's what I wanted. Still wants to sag a little bit. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I'm wondering what's causing that. I wonder if it's just gyros or if I need more thrusters. This is like really difficult to line up. Okay, and three, nope. What's going on here? Hey, it did lock. Sweet. All right, now let's see if we can. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> That's cool. This is actually working. Now, which battery am I? Uh, okay, the orange ones. So I gotta group these. So let me do this. Okay, so I saved them as battery one. The reason why I did that is so I can auto, so I can recharge the batteries. And these are char charging at an alarming rate. One thing I've noticed is the more batteries you have, the faster it charges. And it's got to do with uh, connection points and whatnot. So this is actually working. I'm surprised. Uh, it's a, still having trouble carrying the weight. But even then, 18 batteries, I do believe, should be 18 jumps. So that definitely works. As far as the timing on this goes, I don't know if there's much I can actually do. Uh, let's go to the advanced rotor here. Yeah, like... It's either 0 0.2 or 0 0.4. There's no in between. I guess we'll go to 0 0.42 for now. We'll reverse it because it's the only way we can actually get in here. I don't think we can actually manually enter, enter numbers, can you? No, you can't. That's a shame. And I don't know using arrows will allow you to fine-tune it, but even then it only does so much. It's like 0.6 at a time. But that works. So these are still charging, and yes they are at 1.2 megawatt hours. Now I know this is already charged, so I'm going to do a quick save here, and then uh, I just want to do the, the undocking mechanism and then we'll end the episode. Okay, let's give this a shot. Now, one thing I'm worried about this thing is it might be gas guzzler, but since it's minimal blocks, it shouldn't be a problem. Only 97% right now. So we'll zoom out. Actually, I want to make sure I keep that dock important in, in clear sight. And we're off. Now, the, the next question I have is if I make a second battery pack and I name the connector the same thing, will that group the, the group button? thing I have on the hot bar, you know, number three to unlock that docking port. Is that going to be the same on the other one? I'm not too sure, but we'll find out because I'm going to be planning on making a couple of these at least. I always have one here on this being charged or fully charged and I always have one in a ship. Oh, you did not like that, did you? No, you didn't. I probably moved the mouse as I got out. But with that being said, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one.
Later.